Hello YouTube and welcome to another ESXi tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a user with admin privileges in the VMware ESXi host client. So are you ready? Let's get started. So here usually when you actually are entering the GUI interface of VMware ESXi, use your web page and you log on using your root username and with your password okay but sometimes you need to create another user for another admin in order to log on to the ESXi so how you can do that so actually the procedure is very simple all you have to do is actually to go to the here to the manage menu as you can see you click on it and here you can find uh, different tabs and one of them is the users tab okay so you click on it and here you have the option to actually add user so I will add user I will name it for example Amina let's say admin user here as a description okay and here let's provide uh, passwords for example capital P password okay so you must choose a complex password you can also enable shell access if you want here we go and you add it okay so as you can see here the user Amina has been successfully added so let's test it so here you can see I log on using the root account so I'm gonna log out and I will try actually to log on using this username that we have just created Amina and with the password that I have created but here you can see cannot complete login due to incorrect username and password so maybe I mistyped the password so let's run it once again password so you can see here the message permission to perform this operation was denied actually the user I mean uh, exists but it has no permissions so how can we solve that so actually in order to solve this problem we have to give permissions to this user Amina so in order to do that let's log on using our root username okay and this time in order to give permission to the username Amina all I have to do is actually to go here to the action for this host so I'll click on it and I will go here you can see a menu called permissions so I'll click on this menu here and here you can see that we have actually by default three usernames we have DCUI root VPX user but we don't have actually our user Amina so we have to add it in order to give him the permissions as a role administrator so we click and add user here and here we type actually our username which is in this case Amina and of course we have to give him the administrator role and one of the important things also is to propagate to all children so here it has all the system trust admin global folder data center data store and all these things here okay and of course I will add user here okay so now you can see the user Amina has been added and he has as the role administrator okay so we can test that so let's close this window here and I'm still logging as a root so I have to log out so now let's log in using this username Amina with the password that I have created capital P 
OK. So you can see this time I don't have any more the message permissions denied because actually the user Amina has the permissions needed as an administrator. So we can verify that if we go to the manage this time and to the user tab and you can see he has Amina here has been added. Okay. So he can perform all the necessary administrator actually actions okay so that was just a brief uh, video to show you how to actually add user as an administrator for the ESXi host as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye